Hey guys, welcome to Muse Themes. I'm excited today to show you our brand new headliner widget. And this is a widget that allows you to create these really nice, really stylish, rotating headlines. Uh, we're seeing this used around the web uh, really tastefully. And what people are doing is they're using prominent headlines like this. And they're saying things like, for example, if you're a freelance designer, we design for, and you're having a rotating word after that. So you'd have, we design for banks, we design for architects, um, etc. So we wanted to create a widget that allowed you to do this, integrating in a couple of really kind of cool transition effects, but also that allowed you to continue to design on the Muse canvas without having to design in the panel, which is what you're seeing with many of the other widgets out there that have text effects. So this is a great example that we've built for demo. Really clean, really simple, but along the bottom here, you can see that we have different transition effects. So right now we're on one called Roll but we could go to something like flip. And what this is, is just kind of a flipping up motion. And we even have some other kind of more interesting ones like erase. And what this does is it gives the kind of impression that somebody's highlighting and erasing the word there. So these are really easy to set up in Muse. You're gonna love this widget. It takes just a few minutes to get going. So I'll jump into Muse and I'll show you how to make this work. Here we have kind of a sample homepage with just an upper navigation and a big hero image. And I'm going to create a block of text. And so I'll use the text tool here and I'll just drag a text box. And let's say something like we design and I'm going to bring this text size way up, of course, so you can see it. And I'll maybe make it white. And let's just change the font styling to something a little better than Arial, of course. So. Let's go with brand and grotesque. We'll just go medium there, just like that. And let me bring up the size a little bit more. Okay, perfect. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna shrink down this box so that it's a nice tight frame. We're gonna put another block of text right beside this. Okay, now I'm going to duplicate this text over just by holding the option key and dragging. And now this is the area where I'm going to kind of replace the words that we want to use for this widget. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is, let me just drag the widget out on the page. So it's called the headliner widget. It'll be here in your library panel once you've double clicked it. And when I drag it out, I'll show you what the panel quickly looks like. So we can kind of position this off the side of the canvas so it doesn't interfere. And if I look on the panel, it says the number of headlines we wanna use, and we need to define a paragraph style for each of those headlines. Below that section, we have settings for the transition. So the transition style, the speed, the delay, that sort of thing. And then lastly, we have some specific preferences for certain transitions. So some of them have direction controls. Others have kind of selected text colors uh, if we're mimicking the kind of typing effect on one of the transitions. So the first thing we'll do is let's just do three headlines for this demo. And right now, by default, it says their paragraph styles are para one, para two, and para three. So let's go back to the canvas here and I'm just going to give this first block of text a slightly different color so that it's a little bit unique. Okay, I'm gonna change the word in there to be websites. And now I'm gonna give this a paragraph style. So if I go down to the paragraph styles panel on the bottom right and let's just click create a new style. And in that box, let's give that name para one just like that and click okay. So now we've got a paragraph style applied to this block of text, that's para one. So the next thing I'll do is let's just duplicate this block of text. So if I hold option and drag, of course, I can bring it down a few times. And let's change a second one to say something like brochures. I'm gonna need to add a little bit more space into this box, so let's just do that. And in this one, we could do something like apps there. Okay, now let's change these paragraph styles to be para two and para three. So with the second box selected, let's just go to the paragraph styles. We'll create a new one and let's add para two. Okay, so make sure that's applied, of course, to the second block. We've got para one, para two. Now we need para three. Para three. Okay, perfect. Just like that. So now it doesn't really matter where you position these boxes. They're just gonna show up right where the first one was placed. But let's go ahead and preview this in the browser. I just wanna make sure I have a transition set that you'll be able to see. So we have a sliding effect right now from left to right, and we have looping enabled. So that everything looks good. Let's go file and preview page in browser. 
There, so you can see that it loads up really quickly and this animation is going fast. Obviously our transition settings are set very quickly, but everything's working as we expected. So let's go ahead and close that and I'm just gonna tweak some of these settings now. So we'll go into our widget flyout panel and under transition type, let's change it to something a little bit different. We'll go with roll. We have looping enabled, which means it's going to keep playing again and again. We could turn off looping if we just wanted it to play one time. I'm going to leave it on for now. So now transition duration and transition delay. So the duration basically is how long these letters are going to be animating for, or the words actually are going to be animating. So let's go up to 1500. Basically that's 1 1.5 seconds. Now the delay is essentially the animation time plus how long you want in between the animation before the next one starts. So what I recommend is that you always do a delay that's about double the length of your transition duration. So now I've got 1.5 second total duration or transition duration rather and three second transition delay. Okay, now we've got transition delay between letters. So this box is only going to be available for specific types of animations. So roll is one where each of the letters are animating individually, so we could change this setting. For now, I'm just gonna leave this set at 50, okay? And then below that in the style options or the transition specific preferences, we don't have any options that uh, kind of came alive from selecting the roll transition type, but we'll jump into those after. So let's go ahead and preview this again. I'm just gonna hit Command Shift E to preview this in the browser. And let's see how it looks. So there, now you can see in the browser that the transition speed is much better. The words are showing up for long enough that you can actually read them, of course, but it's transitioning fast enough that I think it'll keep people engaged and it'll keep their eyes looking at this. So it's a really slick little widget. So let's just close that out again and jump into the last block of settings. So in the settings here, I'm going to change the transition type now to something like the typing effect. Okay, so now when I selected typing, you can see that we've got selected background color, selected text color, and cursor color have all come alive. I'm going to leave those set in those kind of bright colors, and I'll show you why you need to change those. Let me preview this in the browser again. So with this effect, we have the word and then it gets highlighted like somebody's selecting it and they delete it. So we've got a red cursor flashing at the end of the word. We've got a highlight color text and then we've got a text color that, that shows up when it's highlighted as well. So obviously this styling does not match the site at all, but we might wanna have an orange cursor here at the end. And then maybe the background is gray and the text within is white or orange, something like that. So let's change those right now. So we've got selected background color, We'll go with a gray color. Selected text color, let's go with say white. Or you know what, let's go with an orange. And then for the cursor color, I'm gonna change that to orange as well, there. That should match our site a little bit better. So we'll preview this one more time. So as you can see now when we preview in the browser here that the text, when it's actually written, we've got a orange cursor at the end, and then when it's selected we have the gray background and the text within is orange. So this matches the brand much better. So this one's a pretty dramatic effect, but uh, if you have a little bit more of a serious site, I might recommend sticking with something like you know, the roll or kind of the push up and down setting. Let me go to the push up and down there and we can select the direction so we could have it coming from the bottom. And I'll show you what this looks like. It's a little bit more tasteful, a little bit more subtle, and this might be a great option for you if you have a little bit of a more serious brand or site. So there, you can see that it's a really tasteful effect. So that's the headliner widget. Super powerful, and I think this is a really great widget that uh, will get a lot of use out there on the web. So let us know if you have any questions or concerns, of course, and don't hesitate to show us examples of what you built with this. Thanks again, and best of luck. Cheers.